everyone, it's Emily here and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to film today's video. I am uploading this on Christmas Eve. I cannot believe it. This year has literally flown by one more sleep till Christmas. I am so excited. I thought it would be best to upload this video on Christmas Eve because then it gives my family only 24 hours to not click on this video because I am filming my Christmas chats and wrap with me. I am so excited that I'm finally sitting down to film this video and am I wearing the exact same outfit to what I wore for last year's chat and wrap with me? Yes, I am, but I had to wear some form of Christmas jumper while I sit here and wrap my family's presents. So I'm gonna sit here and show you what I have bought my boyfriend, my mum, my dad, my sister, and my brother. I am not trying to brag, I just want to show you what I have bought because I'm so excited. I feel like the older I get, the more excited for Christmas I get just to buy and give people presents. I honestly love buying people presents. I love giving presents at Christmas. It is honestly one of my favorite things to do and it's one of the things that I look forward to the most in this festive season. So I'm gonna wrap them for you while answering a few of your questions that she left over on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, I will leave a link for it down below in my description box for you guys to check out because if I'm ever filming a Q&A or even if I'm looking for any new suggestions for future videos, I will always ask on my Instagram stories. So yeah, I'm so excited to jump into showing you guys what I have bought and wrapping them and answering some questions. So yeah, if you do enjoy watching today's video, then please remember as always to leave a huge thumbs up and please remember to subscribe if you haven't already. So let's jump straight into today's video, which is my Christmas chat and wrap with me. Right, so let's jump straight into it. I'm only gonna show what I'm getting. My boyfriend, mum, dad, brother, and sister. I have a few secret Santas. I have a few other friends that I'm buying presents for, but I'm seeing them after Christmas, so I don't want to spoil it. So if any of my friends have clicked on this video, I'm sorry guys, I'm not showing you any of your presents. I do not want to spoil any surprises. Sorry, not sorry. So wrapping wise, you will know that's my go-to place to get wrapping paper is next and i have a few from last year as well as a new roll of wrapping paper the first one is a set of gingerbread houses i hope you can see that i also have this really cute one too with lots of bears like carrying a christmas tree they're ice skating it's just really really sweet and my new one this year is some gingerbread so yeah and then i've also got the biggest bag of bows they're from either card factory or i've got them from habitat which is from sainsbury's yeah there is lots and lots and lots of bows lots of ribbon and lots lots of wrapping paper so let's start with my parents shall we i think we'll do my parents my brother my sister and then we'll end with all of josh's presents so for my parents i've got them a joint present which is like their main present and then i bought them just like a little something each for them to wrap up so for my dad if you watch my gift guide for him you will know exactly what i bought him a new pair of slippers and these are from River Island, my dad's go-to present every year. We never know what to get him. So every year he gets a pair of slippers. And then for my mum, we got her a little hand poured candle. We got this in Cardiff actually, when I went to see my sister, because I don't know if I said that I actually ended up tag teaming basically my parents. So my parents went, I think they went like Friday to Saturday. And then my sister had a day with no one and then I went Monday to Tuesday or something like that. We literally went within like a couple of days of each other. And at the Cardiff Christmas market, my mum loves, you know the candles where the wick crackles? It has that special wick that has that nice crackle like it sounds like a fire. She really wants to get a candle like that but the stall hadn't opened yet that you got it from. So when me and Charlotte went to Cardiff, we went to the store and we've got her a lovely candle with that crackling wick and we got it in the scent rock salt and driftwood and it smells 
so lovely my mum would definitely love this scent so that's we got her and then i'm gonna have to go reach over my bed because i've hidden it for their main present i actually have got them a smeg toaster i'll insert a clip of what it is it is the four slice cream one and i'm so excited to give it to them the reason i've got them this is if you don't already know we have just had our kitchen redone i can't believe it it literally has transformed the downstairs of our house it has gone from being black and red to like a more creamy beigey neutral tones but the toaster we have at the moment is pink and we've all been joking that it doesn't match the pink toaster doesn't match and my mum keeps looking and I, my dad does actually know we got this because i couldn't not tell one of them because i didn't want them to go and buy a toaster so yeah i've just bought them the smeg cream toaster for christmas honestly i'm so excited i hope they like it as much as me and my siblings do right so what question shall oh i've got quite a few now what questions shall we answer first? So someone's asked, what's your favourite Christmas song? I mean, for me personally, it's got to be Kelly Clarkson underneath the tree. And then a close second to that is the band-aid, Do They Know It's Christmas? I feel like those two songs, they just, when the minute they play, they just make me feel so, so Christmassy. Honestly, they are my go-to two favourite songs. Kelly Clarkson, love Kelly Clarkson. Underneath the tree, honestly, what a banger. Oh, I just love Christmas. I love Christmas songs. Uh, Michael Bublé as well. Just Michael Bublé in general. I literally, I drove to Cardiff and Cardiff is like a three hour drive and the whole way there, I just listen to Michael Bublé. I listen to the whole Michael Bublé Christmas album. I honestly love Michael Bublé as well. Sorry, got off a tangent, but we did actually see him at Christmas 2019 and it was the best thing ever to see Michael Bublé at Christmas. I mean, what is Christmas without Michael Bublé? I'm just saying. But yes, back to the answer. Kelly Clarkson, Underneath the Tree is my go-to Christmas song that makes me feel so Christmassy every time I play it. plans for christmas so my plans for christmas are usually the same i'm really lucky that i'm not working obviously i'm working in hospitality still so i'm very grateful that i've actually got christmas and boxing day off this year which i've worked both last year i cannot remember the last time i've had boxing day off honestly i'm so so lucky so when i am at home for christmas and not working it is literally the same every single year so christmas day we usually have at ours and i spend it with my mum's side so my dodo my grandpa's my auntie and my uncle and my two cousins will come over and then this year to top it off josh is actually going to stay over christmas eve and then stay until christmas morning because he's a chef he unfortunately only has christmas day off so he's gonna split his time between obviously being here and then being with his family and then boxing day this year we're actually going to have it here again we normally split it between like one year here one year at my auntie's and that is when i spend it with my dad's side so yeah we literally do it the same every single year there was one time a couple of years ago where we switched it and i saw my dad's side on christmas day and my mum's on a boxing day and personally we all but looked at each other and went that was so weird we literally had two boxing days because i feel like when you get into a routine like since i can remember it's always been that way mum's side christmas dad's side boxing Boxing Day. Obviously, I love seeing my dad's family on Christmas Day, but I feel like it's just tradition that I see them on Boxing Day. So yeah, that is my plans this year. And again, I'm so lucky and I'm so grateful that I have it off because I know when you work in hospitality, that is not normally the case. Right, so that's the first present done. I think it looks really cute. A lot of people have asked me about stuff for Christmas dinner. So since you're veggie, what you'll be eating this Christmas. Another one's written, what is your meat alternative for Christmas? What's the best part of a Christmas dinner? So I might as well just try and answer them all in one. So when it comes to being veggie, so I'm actually pescatarian, so I will eat fish. I can't give up seafood. When you go away and you have seafood, like some fresh prawns, oh, I can't give up. But yes, I don't eat meat, but my sister is 
a full veggie. So at Christmas, we kind of have the same thing. But I actually don't know what we're having for Christmas dinner this year because me and Charlotte, I think this is our third, yeah, this is our third Christmas where we've both not eaten meat and we've not really found like our go-to Christmas meal. Like that's so bad to say, but like I love like a cranberry and like burrito. I mean, I've been eating a lot of roast dinners at work because obviously Christmas parties equal a lot of Christmas dinners. So I've been eating a lot of veggie wellingtons and a lot of sea bass. So I'm probably, am I gonna say a little bit roast dinnered out. I've been living off a diet of roast dinners since the end of November. But yeah, I've just not really found my Christmas meal. I personally love the fake pigs in blankets that is actually the only thing i miss kind of not eating meat is pigs in blankets because i loved a pig in blanket but i have found some really good veggie alternatives i've even made my own with like corn sausages and corn bacon or a lot of veggie food brands also do their own so yeah christmas dinner wise we actually don't know that's probably something me and charlotte need to talk about after i film this video what we're having for christmas dinner this year and then the best part about christmas dinner you guys are actually going to be a little bit surprised about because my uncle makes this thing called a lemon syllabub. I think that's what you call it. And honestly, since I was a child, I've been obsessed. That is the thing that I have looked forward to every single Christmas. And I think you have it between meals. So I think it's after, I think we have it after our Christmas dinner and then before anything like Christmas pudding. And it's basically to like cleanse your palate. But honestly, I love it. So is it really weird if I say that my favorite thing about Christmas dinner is my uncle's lemon syllabub, which is what we have after our roast? I think we have it after our roast anyway, but yeah. Right, so there's, another one i think it looks quite cute so i can go onto the tree and then now we've got to wrap the big present so i think maybe should we see if i can do a montage and put some really cute christmasy background music on and we'll do a little fast forward little montage of me trying to wrap this because i'm not the best rapper but we try Oh, that was nice. Oh, done. I may or may not have ripped a corn back, but there's nothing a little bit of sellotape can do. All done. Now that can go at the back of the tree somewhere. So next up, I might as well show you finally what I bought my brother because I actually got him his presents in Vista. So I got it in the Tommy Hilfiger outlet. So first thing I got him is a plain Tommy Hilfiger white top. So I got him that because he's always needing new clothes. I double checked with his girlfriend if he needs new clothes and she said yes. And then I also got him, my mum loves this. She thought it was such a good find. It is this navy long sleeve top and then it has Tommy Hilfiger written down on the sleeve. So they're his two presents from me, Josh, and my sister. So I hope he likes them and I really hope they fit. Honestly, the struggle buying guys presents, it is real, but let's start wrapping them. Watch wrapping paper. Should I go? Should we go back to the should we just do a rotation? Should we go back to the I think we'll just go back to the gingerbread man. Someone's asked any unusual Christmas traditions in your household. Um, is it unusual if I say that we don't watch TV or put the TV on all of Christmas day and all of Christmas morning? We just do not put the TV on. We'll put music on, we'll chat, we'll talk, we'll play games. We'll do all of that. 
but we do not put the TV on. We don't watch Christmas films on Christmas Day. We don't watch TV specials on Christmas Day. Like people might sit down and watch EastEnders or something like that, or like game show, quiz shows on Christmas Day. We do not do that. So I don't know if that's an unusual Christmas tradition, Christmas thing that people do. But yeah, in my household, I cannot think of a time that we've sat and watched TV. No, I literally can't. So yeah, I don't know if that is unusual, but yeah, in our household, Christmas day and Boxing Day, the TV doesn't go on. We just like to enjoy each other's company. We like to chat, talk, play games. Yeah, it's just, I love Christmas day and I don't feel like we need to put the TV on. There we go. How cute, all done. So that means that we are basically halfway because we've done mum, dad, well over halfway, mum, dad, James, and then now just Shauna and Josh. Have your dogs got Christmas jumpers? Yes, they do. And they look so cute in them. I'll insert some pictures. Basically, Tia had a haircut because she got a little bit too knotted, but we thought it was so cold. Like, it's been ridiculously cold in the UK. I swear this has been the hottest but coldest year ever. Like, honestly, it is freezing at the moment. So we got her a really cute little pink jumper, and then we had to get Brandy one because we didn't want him to miss out. So we got him a red one that has Santa on the back, and I'll insert some pictures because, honestly, they look so... Oh my god, they look so cute. I want them in them all the time. Right, so for Charlotte for Christmas, she actually knows what she's getting because I'm having to be that annoying person because it's actually her 21st birthday in January. And I basically said to her, do you want two separate presents? So a present for your birthday and a present for Christmas. Or because it's your 21st, I'll get you one big present. It's up to you. I know it's annoying, obviously, if your birthday is in December, near Christmas, or in January, I can understand it can be frustrating when people want to kind of combine presents. But she really, really, really wants this coat. I'm not going to get it out, so I'll insert a picture of what it looks like. It's from Columbia, and it is the Bulo Point Down jacket. I think that's... That's what it says on the label, so I'm assuming that's what it is. So this is what I've got her this Christmas, so I'm gonna wrap it, and yes, I know I've been that annoying person to combine a birthday and a Christmas present together, but it's her 21st, and this wasn't the cheapest. This wasn't the cheapest coat. So yeah, Charlotte is getting this for Christmas, and I think, I think she'll appreciate the little ice skating Christmas tree carrying bears. What's your favorite Christmas film? <laughs> I have two and I watch these, well me and my family, we watch both these films, or try to anyway, we stay up till as late as we can and have to, so we watch both these films and that is Love Actually and The Holiday. Those two films are my go-to Christmas Eve film. I cannot explain how much I love those films. They are 100% my two favorite films and if you guys haven't seen them, where have you been? The Holiday, Jude Law in that film, 10, 10. However, Jack Black, the character Jack Black plays in that film reminds me of one of my best friends. And now I can't unsee it. He'll know exactly. If he's watching, he, he knows. Cause I tell him every year, literally it's him. It, it, he's Jack Black in that film. There we go. Charlotte's coat, all wrapped up on his sleeve. I really love this wrapping paper. I don't know if you can see with all the bears. I love combining people's questions in this video. I think it's because a lot of people ask similar things or they're different questions, but I think they both come with the same answer. So someone's asked me, what's your favorite thing about Christmas? And then someone else has asked your favorite games to play at Christmas time. But to me, the answer would lead to the same question. So the two favorite things I love about Christmas, the first thing is buying presents for people and then giving it to them and seeing their reaction. Honestly, I cannot stress, I've said it so many times in the video, I love buying Christmas presents, giving them to people and seeing their reactions. It literally makes my Christmas. The other thing that I love about Christmas is playing games with my family it makes my christmas on top of that they're my two favorite things giving presents 
and playing games. So games wise, with my mum's side, we always play categories. If you don't know that, you basically have a dice with all different letters, you roll it, you get a letter, and then it will ask you questions like a girl's name, a football team, a politician, random things like that. And you have to answer it with the beginning of the letter. So if you roll a dice, it said S, girl's name, you put Sarah because it starts with an S, but you can't match with people. So you wanna kind of find obscure ones or things that other people in your group won't say because if both two people say Sarah, then no one gets a point. It is just so funny because the things that some people come up with, particularly my dodo, it is the funniest game and we always end up laughing and having so much fun. And then the other game I played with my family, my dad's side, is we call it the chocolate game. People must know, basically you have a pack of cards, you shuffle them, you hand them out so people have like, I don't know, three or four cards and there'll be chocolate or sweets in the middle. And you want to get the chocolate, but the only way that you can take a chocolate from the middle is if you get a jack, queen, or a king. So if you get one of them, you can take a chocolate from the middle, and then when all the chocolate has been distributed, you can then steal. Obviously only if you get a jack, queen, or a king, but honestly, it is the funniest game to play because people will literally keep going for the same thing. It's usually the twirl. People are obsessed with twirls in my family, honestly, the fight for those twirls. And we have people playing from like the ages of like 70 to seven. It is so funny. We get so competitive. It is such a good game. I think it's similar to, what's that game that everyone plays based with the presents? White Elephant. Yeah, it's really similar. I think kind of to like White Elephant, but with chocolate instead so yeah they're the games that was probably a really 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 long answer but they're my favorite christmas games and favorite things to do at christmas right so last but not least we have my boyfriend josh and i'm gonna wrap them all up and put them in his sack his very special sack and then he can open it on christmas day because i'm so happy that he's gonna be here christmas morning so he can open all his presents that I'm gonna kindly wrap in his little own Christmas sack. Right, so I might as well quickly, if you watched my Vista haul, this is Josh's main Christmas present. It is a khaki Tommy Hill figure puffer jacket. He picked it out himself and he's been going on and on. He's honestly starting to annoy me with the amount he's going on about whether he can get this already. Can I have my jacket? I already know that I'm getting it. No. He's getting this on Christmas Day because that's his main present. But he picks it out so he knows that he's getting that. But everything else, he's either two things he's asked for, the other three things he hasn't. So I've got them for him. So the two things that I got him, that I basically get him every single year because he hates buying it himself. The first thing is I got him some grey socks, some white socks, and some black socks. You guys will know if you watched my chat and rap with me last year, Josh needs socks. Because Josh loses his socks all the time, and it actually gets to the point sometimes where he borrows mine. Don't ask me how he gets his size 10 feet into my size 5 socks. I have an idea. So he's got three packs of socks, a black, a white, and a grey. And then I also got him some Calvin Klein's black, again, black, grey, and white, because they were actually the only two things he asked for. I asked him what you want for Christmas, and he said, I need some Calvin Klein's, and I need some socks. So I got him them, and now I can finally show you the aftershave that I got him that the lady in the perfume shop kindly recommended to me she gave me her top three this was her number one and me and my sister we're obsessed and it is the Armani stronger with you aftershave honestly this smells amazing yes it's the Armani stronger with you eau de toilette honestly this is amazing. It smells amazing. I'm so, so, so excited to give this to Josh. Honestly, I really hope he likes it. I got him Prada Carbon two years ago. I got him Prada Ocean last year and he didn't know about it and he absolutely loved that one. So I hope I get the same response. Another thing I got him is a head massager. You know, the one that is like 
does that and it's got the handle because i don't know if it's just me i think just guys in general what is their obsession with constantly wanting their head scratched like josh constantly wants his head scratched i don't know if anyone else's boyfriends like that but we'll be literally watching a film and he'll literally like put his head like that and he'll literally like scratch my head he loves his head being scratched and now I can give him this and he can either be lazy and scratch his own head, massage his own head, or instead of me having to use my poor hands, sometimes it's too much effort when you just want to lie there and watch a TV series or just lie there on your phone to scratch his head, then I can just use this. So I just thought it was a little kind of a jokey present as well because honestly, that guy, I just, it must be a guy thing. I mean, I like my head being scratched, but he is like obsessed and I feel like I've seen TikToks about it. So i'm sure i'm not the only one so yeah a head massager i mean i couldn't get the guy who has got the sweetest tooth i have ever seen it would be criminal of me to not buy him some form of chocolate and he loves lindor so i actually got this in b and i got him a lindt lindor assortment collection for the lindor milk lovers including tempting truffles hearts squares and bars i hope you can see kind of what it looks like but yeah i don't think this was too much either for actually lint's normally quite expensive but josh loves lindor i normally get him the box of white ones you've probably seen me wrap it before in last year's chat and wrap but normally i end up getting him them my mum ends up getting him them and my nan so this year he has got the traditional plain absolutely amazing i love lint chocolate honestly i actually wanted to keep this for myself but i'm not so i'm gonna give it to josh and now i think i would like like i said earlier i think i'm gonna film a really cute montage on me wrapping all these presents to put into his stocking last year i that is all of your guys' questions answered so it now means that we are at the end of today's video i might have to whisper a little bit because it is gone midnight i've literally been here for quite some time wrapping the presents but honestly i loved filming today's video i love wrapping christmas presents and now i'm so so excited to give them to my boyfriend and to my family and i can't wait to see their responses i really hope they like them because I really, really try with Christmas every year. I really, really want to get the perfect present for all of my family. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching today's video. And if you have, then please remember, as always, to leave a huge thumbs up. And please remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time with a brand new video. Bye.